Here I am with my third creative video. Yes, this is the third video of the creative video series. I hope you have subscribed to my channel. Today we will speak about a third model. Have you heard of the abbreviation AI? Well, AI stands for Appreciative Inquiry. What is Appreciative Inquiry? Appreciative Inquiry is a model which was developed by an American managerial expert, David Cooperider. According to Appreciative Inquiry, one focuses on the strengths, the positive attributes and the potential of a person, of a company or a system. Yes, you heard it right. The positive attributes rather than the weaknesses. What is going on really well at this moment in the company or with this person? Should he place the classic question, what is the problem with the system? What is the problem with this person? Concentrating on our weaknesses or concentrating on the weaknesses of a person or of a company or system increases the negativity of the atmosphere. Every person, every project, every idea has flaws in it. In the best seen scenario, an awareness of these flaws can help uh, a person in the pursuit of perfection. But in most cases, when we focus on the weaknesses and flaws of a system or a person, the openness and the positive approach which is required for good working practices is stifled. That is why instead of totally abandoning an idea which has come up, it is better to take the idea and develop it and see what good can come from the idea. You could identify basically four types of persons in discussions. The first type of person would be the fault finder. When a suggestion or an idea is put up, she or he would say, yes, but the second type of person would be the dictator, who would outright say, no, this idea will not work. The third type of person is some, somewhat like a school teacher who would say, uh, no, this idea will not work because of this reason, that reason, etc. And of course, the fourth type of person would be the appreciative inquirer who would respond as, yes, and we could add on these extra attributes to the idea. So you can gauge who you personally are when you are in a discussion or who other persons are in discussion. Benjamin Franklin is known to have said, open quote, any fool can criticize. Most fools do, close quote. So friends, don't worry if your ideas are not taken up. Remember that you were privileged to get the idea. Others didn't. At the same time, be open to the ideas of others. Then the system, the country, your school, your family, your institution will definitely grow. This image, which you will see now, will explain these things more clearly. The negative axis and the positive axis, the constructive axis and the destructive axis. So, the next time you are in a group discussion, make a note of how you respond in a discussion and also how each person in the discussion 
presents their arguments. If there is a project, an idea being proposed, each of the responses could fall into these four categories. Uh, for example, you want to build a branch of your uh, company in a rural area or in any particular semi-urban area and uh, the responses to the idea would fall in the four categories. The fault finder category that is the idea is good but yeah it seems positive but uh, slightly destructive. Some of the suggestions could fall into the dictator category which would mean a direct no. This is definitely negative as well as destructive. A few of the, of the responses to the idea would fall into the school teacher category which says no because of particular reasons. Here the response is negative but it's uh, constructive in the sense the person is providing factual reasons why the idea would not work. So can you see it's negative but constructive. So it should not be just blocked. You could listen to this person. And of course the most positive and constructive is the appreciative inquiry response which says yes to the idea and adds more to that particular idea. So it is positive as well as constructive. So friends, you can uh, have a, take a snapshot of this particular model and the next time you are in a discussion, pay attention, pay attention to who you really are and who uh, the members of the discussion really are. You can definitely gauge the personality of the person from the discussions, the arguments uh, they stand by. I hope you liked the third video on the appreciative inquiry model. Look forward for the upcoming videos. I hope you have subscribed to this channel and don't forget to share it with others. And uh, do look at the contents section for the links to the app where you can buy ebooks for uh, reading on your phone. You can also browse our website or get our books from Amazon. You can download our music from our music app Pauline Music.